I'm really nervous right now. From Old Navy, then the same top as you. I just finished my interview. I think it went super well. All right, what's up, you guys? So today I kind of wanted to share with you guys my process of going through an interview and stuff like that. I thought it would be beneficial for you guys to hear. So today I'm going to share with you guys those little tips that I have. So I have a video interview later today at around 3.30. And then I have an in-person interview with the same company tomorrow at 12. So today's interview should be a little shorter. It should be around 30 minutes and the one tomorrow should be about an hour. So I try and prep as much as I can for the interview. Um, this is the little booklet that I take with me to interviews and it usually has copies of my resume and then I bring a pen and it has this little paper in it to take any notes if needed but I think it just looks a little more professional to have this with you to have all your things together so that's what I do anyway besides that my biggest tip my first tip is to do your research on the company so what I like to do I'm more of a visual person and I like to have things written down on a piece of paper so I write down the company name at the top of the page and then I just start doing my research about the company just writing some facts some things that I want to know about the company just so that the company knows that I've done as much research as possible and that I really enjoy the company and stuff like that so my second tip is to just come up with some mock interview questions and I try to look at the company as well and see if people have posted interview questions that they've had with the company. This company in particular has not because it's a newer company so I haven't been able to find any um, mock interview questions for the specific company or role which is kind of annoying but also it's fine. I think that Typically, interview questions are kind of similar in a way, so that is a big tip is to come up with mock interview questions and interview yourself, have a friend interview you, have your parents do it for you, just so you're as prepared as possible. Also, next, you want to make sure that you are dressed the part. You want to make sure that you're looking your best, you look presentable. It's very important to make a good first impression, not just with your interview and how you answer the questions, but also your appearance. And by that, I mean just looking put together. You obviously don't want to show up to your interview looking like a straight up bum. You want to be looking good, look like you showered, not just rolled out of bed and showed up to your interview because that just shows that you're not prepared and it's just not a good look so I like to pick out my outfit before and try it on and make sure that everything looks okay so make sure that you're dressed the part in a video interview and an in-person interview that's very important so those are like my top three tips at the moment video interview and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing my setup so I just wanted to share the few tips that I have with you guys and I'll get more into detail later so I'm gonna start doing this get prepped and I will see you guys later all right you guys what's up so I've done a lot of prepping um, I'm gonna go over some more interview questions it's about 1 30 I'm getting pretty nervous because I haven't done an interview in God knows how long or spoken to people like new people in so long so I'm going to um, pick out an outfit right now I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear since I'm indoors and I don't have to go outside into the hot sun I'm going to take advantage and wear a blazer today so I think I'm gonna wear my typical blazer that I normally wear and for bottoms I'm just gonna wear like basic black slacks and then a black top and a blazer so let's pick that out I'm 
Okay, here are the black slacks. This is the blazer that I'm gonna be wearing. Super cute, I've worn it a ton. I literally love this blazer. Um, it's from Princess Polly. Definitely recommend, I think they still sell it. So yeah, I really like this blazer. So it's gonna be black slacks, this blazer, and then let me get the shirt. And then I'm gonna be wearing this simple black shirt. So I got this at H&M very recently, so I just washed it. And I'm also going to be wearing this to my interview tomorrow. But tomorrow, I'm going to be wearing these fun pants. And I'm going to be wearing these... Ah, focus. Okay. And these little heeled mules. So they are open-toed, but they're like a nice dress shoe. They have to be cleaned a little bit. But I'm going to be wearing these with the black top and these pants. This is for tomorrow. So I'm going to have that ready to go actually. But yeah, I'm excited because since I'll be indoors, I'll be able to wear a cute blazer and it'll look good on like the video interview. So that is what I'm going to be wearing. So I'm going to start doing my makeup and just simple makeup, just like concealer. Just to look like presentable. So we're going to do that. And then I'll show you guys my outfit. All put on. And yeah, let's get to it. I have to charge this battery because she's going to die. But yes, I'm really nervous right now, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Alright you guys, so I'm sorry if the quality is kind of bad, but my camera is still charging, so I want to keep it charging, so I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing the basic black top and the slacks, and then I have on this blazer that I love, so I think the blazer really adds to it, especially in, in a video interview. So. I'm basically all ready. I'm gonna put on my cross necklace and put some chapstick on, but I just did very simple makeup. I don't even know if you guys can tell that much. Actually, you probably can't because I looked pretty bad before, so. And I'm just gonna brush out my hair, make sure everything is good, and get everything set up for the interview. I'm really nervous. Uh, I'm gonna take some deep breaths before doing it and just do some breathing exercises to make sure I'm okay. But yeah, I just really wanna show you guys the look and I'm just gonna wear my um, slippers because I really don't think I'm gonna have to show my feet, so. Yeah, this is the look. It's not that cute, but it's like businessy looking good. So yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for. So I'll let you guys know how it goes after. Wish me luck. I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to get a job, be a working girl. So let's see how this goes. I'm hopeful. So I'll talk to you guys later. Alright you guys, so I just finished my interview. I think it went really well. Um, she was really cool, super chill. It was like a very conversational interview, which I really like when it's like that, when they make you feel just really comfortable. And I think I answered the, the questions pretty well. So I'm super excited. Um, I have an interview, the in-person interview tomorrow at 12. So I had my dad print out copies of my resume in color because it is a more, it, it's best if the resume is in color because it is like that. So I'm really excited for that and yeah, I'm hopeful and I'm really just lucky and happy that I was able to get an interview. <laughs> interview during this time because it's been so hard for me to even find an interview so 
I'm happy all my hard work is paying off right now and I really hope I get some good news and if not everything happens for a reason what's meant to be will be so I'm just really excited that I was given this opportunity so it was really good so now tomorrow two more people that I have to interview with it's always so tedious to have to interview do so many interviews and it's really disappointing when you don't get it and you thought you did really good so I hope this isn't one of those times but we'll see so yeah that's gonna be it for today um, also I just wanted to add I think another really beneficial tool to use are things like Indeed they have a lot of different articles and videos that you can watch that just give you tips on how to answer behavioral questions, what to ask for at the end of an interview, how to make, how to present yourself and all kinds of all kinds of stuff. So I would definitely recommend looking at Indeed. They have a lot of good options and that's what I use today to really help prep and I'm going to continue to prep for tomorrow. So another one I'd say is Glassdoor. They usually have interview questions on there and have like a synopsis of the company and it's just a really good tool to use. So yeah, I just wanted to add that in there and I really hope you guys enjoyed right now and I will get back with you guys when I'm prepping tomorrow and I'll talk with you guys right before my interview and yeah, it'll be good. I'm really glad I'm documenting this process because I think it's very beneficial. So I would just want to share as much information as I can with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more nervous sweats and me shaking. So I'm excited to be done because once you're done with that final interview, it's like a weight lifted off of your shoulders. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's the next day and I'm all dressed for my interview today. So I wanted to show you guys the fit. And this is it. These pants I think are from Old Navy, then the same top as yesterday. My cross necklace, some light makeup, and then these little hoops. And then I have this Kendra Scott bracelet and these bracelets as well. And then I'm gonna wear those shoes. So I just looked at my purse and my mom put this lemon in here and <laughs> she said it's for the va bad vibes so I guess I'll keep that in there. <laughs> Alright, what's up you guys? I'm sorry if you guys can hear the air in the background but it's hot so um, I just got to the place where it's at. It's 11.28 so I'm here 30 minutes early. I like to leave like with a good amount of time in advance because there are times when I've gotten lost or like the directions are kind of confusing so I just like to make sure that I'm here like very early so I'll go in like 15 minutes before so I'll probably be waiting here for another 10 minutes in my car and then I'll head in but yeah I just really like to make sure that I have found the place and know exactly where I'm going because so many times where I get to the place and I'm just confused on where to go, I get lost, so you never know. So make sure that you're leaving with plenty of time. Um, but yeah, I'm really nervous, but also I feel a little bit more calm than yesterday, surprisingly, even though this is an in-person interview. But because I already had yesterday's, I felt like my answers were really good and I feel pretty prepared for today, uh, knock on wood. So yeah, whatever happens, happens. It's gonna go well, I feel good about it. So I'm really excited. So I'll talk to you guys after and tell you guys how it went. And yeah, stay tuned for after because We'll see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you guys after. What's up, guys? So I'm done. Again, I'm sorry if you can hear the um, air conditioning 
but I just finished my interview. I think it went super well. So send prayers my way, everyone. They said I should hear back within the next two weeks. So this video will probably be up before then. So yeah, I'll let you guys know if I end up getting it or not. But I felt really good about it. It was a good conversation. The opportunity seems really cool. So I really hope I get it. Obviously, I would love something in Chicago or something like that, but this is a great opportunity. So, I'm super excited about it, and I really hope I get it, you guys, because I'm so over this. I need a job. I'm, I've had fun doing YouTube and learning on my own, but I really need to get a job because I need money. So, I'll update you guys more when I get home and just, like, kind of do a full overview everything but yeah I just wanted to fill you guys in on everything right now so yeah I'll see you guys later someone just walked past me um but yeah I wanted to fill you guys in right now so I just update do a live update you know just let you guys know right after so I'm gonna drive home and yeah see you guys later all right you guys so give you guys an update in the car after I was done with the interview and now I'm back home um but yeah it went really well I feel really good about it fingers crossed that I get it if not something else is coming my way I'm not gonna be too butthurt about it but I feel really good about it so I just wanted to end off by saying don't put too much pressure on yourself or if you don't get a job that you really want or you really worked for, it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. That job wasn't meant for you. You're meant for something else, something bigger. So just don't put too much pressure on yourself. You know, we're in a tough time right now. Life is hard and it's okay if you don't get your dream job right now. So just keep working towards your goals. Just keep working towards something. I promise all your hard work is going to pay off. I'm really lucky and really fortunate that I got this opportunity to even interview for a company right now. Um, and it's something that I want to do and a great opportunity. So I'm super thankful that I even got the opportunity to do it. So just be thankful for everything. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something new. So like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. My mom in the background. But yeah, leave with one thing only. Just don't put too much pressure. Sometimes over preparing is not the best because if you over prepare sometimes you're just like frazzled But anyway, that was a tangent. Thank you guys, and I hope this was a helpful video. So bye Baby you get your way Nothing I can do, do.